So this is WD's MyCloud Pro Series PR2100, this is the 16TB or 8TB usable one uh, model and uh, WD actually sent it over for me to review for once as opposed to sort of showcase, so um, yeah, let's get started and take a look. So as usual the box has all of the features including the 16TB sticker which is uh, not quite true, it's 8TB usable because it comes with two 8TB drives. You also get the specs on the side which uh, we'll talk about in just a second but inside the box you get the NAS itself with two 8TB drives. You also get the power adapter, the power cable and a shielded ethernet cable as well as some documentation. Obviously this is a two bay NAS, has a power button on the front and of middle top as well as a USB 3 port with a copy button. On the back, uh, on the side sorry you have some ventilation and uh, while we're here talking about the specs is an Intel Pentium N3710 a 1.6 gigahertz quad core 4 gig of RAM and obviously two drive bays you also have a Kensington lock a very small fan in the back as well as a reset button a USB 3 port 2 gigabit Ethernet and two DCNs for redundancy now these these are a toolless drive base sort of mount system and uh, generally because this comes preloaded with drives you don't necessarily need to take them out at all um, but it is quite nice that it's toolless but the kind of side to that is the way these uh, drives are toolless it's actually quite hard to shut them though the doors themselves can be a little flimsy as well so you have to kind of push the drive in and then sort of use two thumbs to actually shut the door and have it properly click uh, and it can be a little bit difficult to actually get properly attached at the side so you might have to spend some time shutting it if you do ever open it but uh, you do have some LED indicators on the bottom for whichever drives are being used. Obviously if it's in RAID 1 then technically both of them should be flashing if you're writing to it and obviously you've got the power button that lights up too. Now the software experience is actually quite easy to uh, you know go through and use, it's quite easy to set up folders and shares so that you can uh, use other PCs to access the uh, you know the uh, system. Um, you can also change the RAID configuration after the fact as well which is quite nice so it does stop any outgoing transfers. You can also use this as a web server, Plex media server, WordPress server, that type of thing. Although the app support is a little bit limited in comparison to for example the Asus, uh, Asus Store or QNAP uh, sort of NAS software. But it is quite easy to use uh, so that is a definitely a good thing. So I want to make it clear this is the first non-sponsored video done for WD which is kind of strange because it normally goes the other way around but regardless of any previous sponsorship I do actually quite the like the NAS with a few kind of caveats I'll talk about in a second but um, first off the kind of pros as such it's actually quite nice for business obviously you've got the dual DC in which means if one power supply blows up you still have some redundancy there and you can run them on two different circuits and stuff like that if you desperately want to keep your data alive um, although I would actually expect that you would have a 4, a 6 or an 8 bay NAS if you were actually buying it for a business because expandability is good um, or you know you want to do like ZFS or RAID 5 or RAID 10 type thing but regardless of that um, if you are planning on picking this specific one up it is quite a nice shout the uh, software side is actually quite nice and easy to maneuver around but in terms of the app support there is it's fairly limited um, if you can find apps that work with it then that's awesome but obviously the ones that come uh, available at the very least um, are a lot more limited in comparison to like QNAP and Asus Store ones, uh, even stuff like e-commerce, uh, you know, more business side of apps. Um, there are th more things that are available on, uh, you know, QNAP and Asus Store type NASes rather than this one. So if you're looking for more, uh, you know, more functionality over just file server, web server, FTP server, email server type thing, then I would recommend taking a look at QNAP or Asus Store type NASes on the sort of business side of things as well. In terms of the uh, other nice things, you've also got a very small footprint, it's actually smaller than your average NAS and it's ridiculously quiet once it's on. Um, what I mean once it's on, if you actually turn the thing on, it, uh, the fan goes up to full speed I guess to like blow out dust or something, uh, but it's ridiculously loud until it actually boots into its OS and then it's ridiculously quiet so that's quite nice. But um, yeah, so in terms of the bad things, uh, the main thing is that first of all, has said it's very loud on startup, although that's only on startup, so you don't necessarily need to worry. But also, I, I guess other manufacturers and other companies do this as well, and it's something that I don't necessarily know exactly how to fix, but it still feels a little bit, I guess, misleading for me, because uh, this drive, uh, this uh, NAS comes preloaded with drives, whereas your average kind of here app race is still NAS that uh, generally doesn't. Um, this uh, box has uh, a sticker on it that says 16 terabytes. Well, technically that is true. You have two 8 terabyte drives in there, which means you have 16 terabytes of total physical hard drive space. Um, it comes pre-configured in RAID 1, which means you'll have 8 terabytes of usable space. And to claim that it's a 16 terabyte NAS 
while only having eight terabytes of usable, if redundant, space feels a little bit weird for me, especially for people who aren't necessarily as tech savvy who are picking these up and then they boot it up and the first thing they see is eight terabytes and then they look on the side of the box and they see it says 16 and like what the hell is going on here? Um, so I, I feel like there, there should probably be more clarification about that at the very least. Uh, but regardless, it's still quite cool. It's still, uh, you know, very big in terms of space. Eight terabits is awesome. Although on business side, especially if you're doing stuff like video for me, that's quite small, but uh, yeah, whatever. Um, it's quite cool, so yeah. In terms of scoring, I'm gonna go for a four for five money. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for five performance, especially because of the Joe Gabe and Ass. I know I haven't given you specific figures, but it's generally maxed out by either Gigabit Ethernet or uh, it's sub 200 mega second because of hard drives. So it's kind of a, a the performance figures aren't necessarily that um, uh, you know different from any other NAS that has dual gigabit Ethernet and WD Red drives in it. Um, in terms of functionality, I'm going to go for a four just because the app support isn't fantastic um, and the drives, uh, you know, you've only got two drive bays there and for a business I feel like that's a little bit limiting. Um, in terms of styling, it's an ass, it's okay, so five there, uh, I guess let's go 4.5 because it's not the prettiest thing in the world but it's still decent. Um, and Titan Ruby score, I'm going to go for a four, I'm going to go for a silver award because it's a really nice NAS. App support could definitely be better and I feel like that the 16 terabyte sticker on the side should at least be a little bit more clear that you only have 8 terabytes but again I'm sure other manufacturers do it as well so you know I, I, I yeah that's that. Um, if you enjoyed the video and found it useful, helpful, informative feel free to subscribe, like and uh, leave a comment uh, letting me know what you enjoyed or if you just enjoyed it. Um, if you didn't feel free to leave a comment and let me know why you didn't enjoy it and what you'd like to see improve for next time so that I can improve um, and make things better for you because at the end of the day I'm making these videos for you guys so if you tell me I can make it better and uh, yeah I guess that's that. Um, don't forget to check out our Amazon affiliate link in the description down below if you want to pick this or anything else up. Um, I'll leave a link to either this NAS if you can pick it up on Amazon or the WD website, whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, I guess that's that. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, as I said, found it useful and informative and enjoying. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next video.